That looks like. It, it looks like. Uh, um, I haven't got my glasses on. Who is Jack it? Black and Lizzo. I didn't think we would get the reaction to episode five and six, but I've just checked the camera and they left it running. So we've cut together what's there. Here it is. I don't get how it's so popular. And so far, there's been a bath, some random doctor, and a kid nearly getting eaten by a giant chicken. I'm sure it's building to something. Give it a chance. Quite, I don't make you watch series of your dead girlfriend's sister, do you? Oh, I thought she wasn't your girlfriend. Oh, just play it. I don't believe my eyes. The voice sounds like Grief Karga. Oh, Captain Seaweed Face is back. It would make sense for a sea pirate, but a space pirate? That should have been like, um... Uh, space Seaweed? Try and be a bit more imaginative, Anakin. He shot first. Well, now I will shoot first. Well, whoever shot first, I'm pretty sure it'll be changed in post in 20 years' time. This isn't Sabak. You can't bluff your way out of this one, Karga. I'd wipe the floor with Karga. What game? Texas Hold'em. Of course you would. You're omnipresent. You could sense his cards. Even then, I don't win every time. Can I use your viewer? Thank you. Hello, is that Hugh Jass? My name is Hugh Jass. Yeah, you got a Hugh Jass for a mouth. <laughs> they haven't returned to dispatch in weeks. They're swamped. Oh, yeah, because they're the only two officers in the entire galaxy. Captain Tavy here to see Colonel Tuttle. Oh, no. We're not seeing Din Djarin in this episode, are we? We might get five minutes of bare knuckle fighting and overgrown chicken at the end if we're lucky. Oh, Siri, can I get you anything? Thank you, and I'm fine. Oh, here she comes. Queen Kissoff. They have yet to sign the charter. They're not a member of Planet. Ooh, this feels a bit too close to home. Because I'm hearing Moff Gideon never made it to trial. Cap never made it to trial? It's one rule for the wrench and another for the rest of us. You and your sword didn't see the light. You were captured. Oh, 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 he's got her number. He's more America and less Sweden. You wouldn't want to be the American rehabilitation system. Oh, no. Oh, Pharaoh, Pirate, Gory, and Shard. Let my people go. How did you manage to find us? Mandalorians pride ourselves on our secrecy. You can pride yourself on whatever you want. Doesn't mean you're good at it. I prided myself on being Anakin's master. Fortunately, someone I served with in the rebellion is amongst your ranks. Thanks, R5. Oh, snitches get stitches. The entire covert will now have to relocate. Or we could kill him. Stay right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, because this is such a brilliant spot. It's always a worse spot. That is terrible advice. When your child has just spent 36 hours in a dragon beak. So our culture may flourish, and our children can feel what it is to play in the sunlight. Because, let's be honest, our kids are some of the pastiest going. Oh, because they're gamers. No, because of the hats. I mean, look at Grogu. He needs some bloody vitamin D. I was there on Navarro that night. I fought against Grief Karga and his hunters. I saw many die to save the life of this one tiny foundling. Why should we lay our lives down yet again? Because we are Mandalorians. Well, why did you say it like that? I was thinking you were against it. I think he did it that way for impact. <laughs> Misleading is what it is. I'm guessing that's no longer a school then. Pirates do have weird demands. Be careful, my friend. They've got you outnumbered 10 to 1. Oh, 40 credits on the Mandalorian. Why? It's on the TV. No one's giving you those odds. Oh. Let him get away. I'm on the N1. Well, obviously, we all are. My force, that pirate is annoying. Then bring them back. I don't want to hear excuses, Shmi. He's above you. Oh, yeah, that's really helpful, mate. Why don't you actually just do anything useful? You're about as much use as Anakin in the high jump. Where an Obi-Wan is making people go to sleep because you're lecturing them too much content. So you're saying I'm not good at that because I'm so engaging. Damn it. 
<laughs> okay then, Lady Thor. Who'd have thought that using those little tongues would be such a great weapon? Another happy landing. Western lava flats to Bullock Canyon to the fine people of Mandalore. Oh, we get to build our town between the lava and a place called Bullet Canyon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Remove your helmet. She made such a big deal about Din taking his off in dire circumstances. And then this. I was taught that the Mythosaur existed only in legends. And yet, you saw it. She didn't even bring any proof. Not even a blurry photograph or a toenail or nothing. Come on, give me something to go on. But she shows her face. I, it was stuffy under there, so I've given her a 25-minute break. Because I seemingly just make it up as I go along. This guy just stumbles upon everything, doesn't he? I mean, we have all the things in the galaxy to stumble upon. It's a fragment of Beskar alloy. Oh no, the Mando's got a new enemy. inappropriate to just have a bath in the middle of the office. He's the boss. It's probably one of the perks. Well, I doubt she cycled to work. Underlings should do as they're told. Hmm. Hail, Imperial friends. And were unaware of any local warlords that required payment. I am not a criminal. Bit awkward. Just calling someone you've never met over the phone, effectively just calling them a Nazi. Yeah, also basically admitting that you're a Nazi sympathizer. I won't go. We love each other. <laughs> All right, okay. Right, let's, well, let's just see where this is going. After that, you can do whatever you want. Whatever you gross frog squid people do for fun. You have to go with them. No, I love you. No, I love you. Oh, right, you're over there. I can't destroy everything I've built for a childish fling. Is that all this was to you? It's difficult to tell from the faces, but the voices. Why does this feel so... Very cougary. He sounds about 12. Mm, too close to home. And I will always love you. Oh, space Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, don't be such a prude, Obi-Wan. Can we get the brightness up? I thought Mandalorians were honorable. We are, kid. All it takes is a few credits. Sounds about right. Jeez. Well, the rest of the episode can't be worse than that. Engaging automated guidance. Oh, I hate paying for valet. Why would I pay for someone to drive my car like 20 meters? Oh, they have Black R2 with them. Anakin! What? He's factually correct. I... You can't say that. We'll be overly woke, Kenobi. Join us! Come! Come! Everyone, special guests! <laughs> that looks like... It, it looks like... Ah, um, I haven't got my glasses on. Who is Jack it? Jack Black and... Lizzo. He oversaw the rebuilding of this planet on which my... I just... I'm lost for words. Ah. Go, oh. Come on. Oh, Anakin, he hates you. He's not going to... Oh, 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 But because of this, all of our resources go to growth and the people... Oh, how very Scottish of you. Yes. A droid problem. What kind of droid problem? A malfunction. A coordinated malfunction. Is it actually Lizzo? Yeah, it says in the episode bio that Disney flew her out to... A galaxy far, far away to pretend to play whoever this is. Is that Jack Black? No, that's Captain Bombardier. Who's he actually married to? The pre-Lizzo character, who she's replaced, was taken to the dungeons for this episode. He's always going on about Baby Yoda online. Maybe if we posted all about this little green munchkin, we'd get a cameo in Star Wars. We've had our chance, Anakin. And you blew it. Uh-oh. What do you think? You had me at battle droids. You had me at battle droids. 
That's when we got you. They are very satisfying to just... Captured Imperial Robotics, scheduled to be scrapped at... Wait a second, droid commissioner. Great Scott, You're telling me you built a battle droid butler squadron? You wouldn't want an ex-battle droid as, say, a nanny, would you? If it's cheap, childcare costs are astronomical. I'd let anything take care of little baby Roger. What? The citizens voted against any interruption in droid services. I had to go back to doing my chores today, and now I'm really pissed off. <laughs> I mean, what is this episode? Part Lizzo, part critique of capitalism. You're not Animal Farm Mandalorian. Stick to Baby Yoda memes. Our society would collapse. These citizens can barely brush their teeth without the droids. Yeah, but that's different. My dentist told me to use you. What? There is not much of which we are not aware. I have spoken. Jeez, the ego on these guys. We know that Ugnats are considered the hardest working species in the galaxy. Flattery, Din. Seriously. Oh, the cult of hard work. Work smart, not hard. It's always the rich that think they got to where they are from hard work. We are the superior race in the galaxy. My hairy jowls have spoken. Hard to tell. Ugnats always seem sure of themselves. Ugnats are like everyone I've ever met that went to private school. Battle droids since the Clone Wars. With good reason. Halt! This is a restricted area. You are to vacate immediately. So bureaucratic, battle droids. Should be called bureaucratal droids. Rest assured, I've had the entire line of loaders undergo maintenance protocols. As a state. What are those chunky droids? Super battle droids. More like beefcake battle droids. Why do they look like they've spent too long training shoulders in the gym? Well, after your death, the Separatists thought having an army of weedy Sheldon Cooper battle droids wasn't the best way to take control of the galaxy. I thought they were just checked out. They were. Yeah, what are you doing? Trying to dead leg a super battle droid. Come on, Din. They don't have hamstrings. He's trying to rile them up. I feel like that's just pretty antisocial. Sir? Yeah, that's what you get. When you just go around dead-legging people in the pub, eventually that will happen. That was a terrible throw. I didn't even need to duck. Never mind hit the deck. Yeah, but you'd feel pretty stupid if you just stood there and took it flush in the kisser. Pub has been neutralized. Was there any need to spear tackle him? Yeah, how uncivilized. A droid bar? I mean, how old do you have to be? Look, mate, your ID says that you're third generation. you got to be second generation or lower. Tonight's not your night, mate. You don't have to go back to your charging quarters, but you can't stay here. I don't think they get many of our kind here. Or a racist droid bar. There are concerns among my customers that we will be replaced. What is this? Blade Runner 3? Organics created us. It's the least we can do. This season really is all about second chance programs. Oh, maybe this will be an interesting introspection into the treatment of any group of second class citizens in a society. Uh, we'll see. What's Nepenthe? It is a viscous lubricant that protects against mechanical wear while delivering program refreshing subparticles. Sounds like the opposite of a beer. Ah, oh, I haven't had a beer since I left my meat bunny. Should we go for a pint after this? Yeah, okay. I don't know if you'll be able to drink them. I don't think any beers are force sensitive. These are the remains of the latest malfunctioning droid. Droid bar, now a droid mall. I mean, what's next? Droid bakery? Who could come up with something better than that? Shut up, Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sh shut up, Obi-Wan. <laughs> Could you not have just switched it off? Yeah, but where's the theater in that? I'd turn every appliance off like that if it wasn't so expensive. Oh. Yeah. Curious. 
what? They're actually nanodroids. How did nanodroids get into the Nepenthe? How did the nanodroids get in the Nepenthe? Why are you saying it like that? No, I really just found myself all of a sudden not caring at all. No. It's writing. It says Mando is just a Django Fett wannabe. That would be a huge amount of effort for a minimal payoff. A real Rick Sanchez move, that. Our head of security. Commissioner Hellgate. Oh, Hellgate. Oh, that seems like a trustworthy name. Named after the very gates of hell. You know, why not call him Commissioner Bad Person? You're coming with us. Everyone freeze! Right, listen, Doc. We don't have time to hear about your stupid time machine car right now. If I trigger this failsafe and unleash them upon the unsuspecting citizens of Plazir. Oh no, baby Roger. Roger who? Roger, Roger. Oh, getting uh, pins and needles. You're a separatist. Separatist is a pejorative term. What's a separatist? They're like the uh, original Rebel Alliance. They were formed by, do you remember those weird, like, slug people viceroys? I support democracy. Count Dooku was a visionary. Ah, oh, my old master. He's one of your fans. Mm. Yeah. He was cut short in his prime by the Jedi forces. What? Replay up. I, I couldn't quite hear. Oh, uh, he said something about Amazon Prime. Getting shortchanged or something. Seems a bit irrelevant, but okay. Oh, thank the force. That you cheat at big cockroach space croquet. This planet is unrecognizable since he arrived. I had a feeling you hated me. <laughs> Sure, he's made some mistakes in the past, but who here among us has not? Yeah, who hasn't? I mean, the other week, I left the tap on while I brushed my teeth. <laughs> Anyone else want to own up to some mistakes? Anakin, maybe? I have no regrets. Oh, you're definitely telling the truth. Guess the truth hurts. No, I'm good. Good as hell. As for now, you must live in exile on the moon of Perquat. Oh, no! The moon of Perquat! Probably. I also give to you both our highest honor, the key to Plazier. Bit overkill, isn't it? Can't just stick that in your pocket. I think it's more symbolic. And to this little one, I grant knighthood. What? He didn't do anything. He cheated at space croquet. Well, he gets a knighthood for that. <laughs> yeah, you're already on your way with the suit of armor. I'm now in command and grown quite fond of it. Then I challenge you. Oh, what? Bo, so power hungry. You know these Mando fights, they draw knives and have so many opportunities to like put out an eye or something, but no one gets a scratch. Yeah, if they were Jedi, You'd have lost both arms and a leg at this point. Mm -hmm. Bit much, mate. She did challenge him. Still. Oh, get a room, you two. Ah, that's Din. One, I might add, who has not one drop of Mandalorian blood in his veins. I thought anyone could take the Creed. Yeah, but there's still bloodlines. Once you take the Creed, surely all your blood is Mandalorian. Now it's everything except your blood. She defeated the enemy that defeated me. Would this blade then not belong to her? On an absolute technicality. Oh, we'll get the Mandalorian lawyers to take a look at him. It would. But there's no other witnesses. They could have just made it up. I return this blade to its rightful owner. Oh, hooray for the technicality. Come on, everyone. Three cheers for the loophole in the creed. 